Hey guys, well I'm from Red Moto. So today we're gonna to be working on this 2014 Acura ILX side view mirror removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And also, if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. And if you guys need this mirror for your vehicle, the link is up above and it's also down below. So let's get started. All right, so go ahead and open that door. I'm gonna to have to remove this door panel right here. So it's gonna be a couple of screws that we gotta take off. All right, so if you guys look over here, there's this cover right there that we gotta take that off. So how are we gonna take that off? All right, let me get you guys a little bit closer on this one. If you guys see right there, there's like a little slit, like right here, if you guys see that. If you guys see that right there. So you just gotta get something small to put in there. So I got this little pick. I'm just gonna put it in there and then pull it out. And it falls down just like that. That's just an indication that it's off. All right, so that's how it looks like. See, that's just like that little slit right there. Take that off. All right, put that to the side. So now you're going to go in there and you're going to see two screws. So let's get you guys a little bit lower and there's those screws one right here and one right here and you're gonna need one of these things it's called a phillips my cousin's name is philip there we go just going to take that off there's two of them all right so that's off when you take that off, if you guys look right here, this door control or master control, okay, that's not supposed to come off that easy. Let me put that one back in place. So you come right here, just like a little line right here. So you gotta wedge something in between that line. So something soft or like plasticky like this and like that and just pry it up. It should come off. Just pull. And then that door switches off. So you can just go ahead and unclip it. Let's see where's the clip right here. Unclip it. And then another one. Oh. Interesting. Alright, so let me show you guys how to take that one off. That one's a not gonna lie, this, this car is a little bit interesting. So, I'm gonna push this. How did this? Okay. Thank okay. you. So, there's this clip right here, as you guys can see. And if I can just get it back into place. Oh, it won't go in place because I have to put that master control in there so then it slides in there and then it'll engage this thing to close. So basically, there's like a little clip right here. Just so like a little clip right here. You gotta press down on that and then slide this back and then I'll unlock it. That's one thing right there. There's gonna be a plastic piece right here. Again, you gotta wedge something soft so you don't damage that, that part right there. Sometimes you gotta get a flathead. If you're very careful, you're not gonna damage it if you get a flathead. You just gotta pry it. Oh. Up like this. So when you got like that. So you just gotta pull this piece off. You don't have to completely come. Can you pull this off? No, you don't have to. But if you guys look down there, there's that screw. Right there. So it's right there. Okay? So I'm not going to completely take this off. I'm going to get a fly, uh, a screwdriver like that. And the screw looks like that. All right, now you can pull from one side. 
so let's see. Oh, fell right straight down. So if you guys go to one side, you can go ahead and take the. Wait a minute. Well, let's take the tweeter off. Wait, something right there. Right, so the tweeter comes off. And disconnect the tweeter, just like that. And then let's see what's preventing this from coming off, actually. Huh. Let's see. It's supposed to be, but yeah, there you go. So I guess pull from one side over there, then you work your way there. Okay, it's just hard to take off like that. So just go ahead and. Uh, Work your way around like that, and then you should be able to push up on it. Let's see, just like that, and now you can just hang it just like that. A little bit of bad glare, so you can't see it. But I guess look right here, there's a bolt right there, and inside right here, there's a bolt right there, and a bolt right here. Okay, that's gonna be a 10 millimeter. Let's see if you guys can see that. Can you see that? 10. So go right here. Take that one off. So don't disconnect the wire for, uh, off of the mirror yet because in case it falls, then it um, doesn't fall all the way down. So again, take this off right here. And that screw looks like that. This one right here. One right here. All right, that's one right there. And then right here is another one. So take that off. Is that the one? Yep, there, actually there's four of them. One, two, three, four. So take this one off too. All right, that's another one. Take this one off right here. There's gonna be a fourth one right there. I hardly see four, I usually see like three. Okay, that's the fourth one right there. So put that to the side. So before you disconnect it, Go to the other side and hold on to it and then disconnect it like that and then push it through. Okay, and there's your mirror. All right, to put it back in, go to the other side, slide that wire in, line up the holes for that. For the nuts and then plug it in first just go ahead and go to the other side get your nuts and don't use a power tool just because if you use a power tool what's gonna happen is that you're gonna put too much pressure on it and it's gonna break the uh, the studs okay so put this one in Put the one opposite of it so it uh, lines up properly. So that's one right there. And another one right here. And then another one over here. Alright, so tighten up this one. That's tight. Tighten up this one. Cool. And then tighten up this one. Okay, so that's all secure right there. So next is you're gonna put that door panel back on. Alright, so to put the door panel back on, you have to get this over here. 
Okay, so over first. Then slide down. And if it's if it's under properly, you should be able to see the holes. There we go. Okay, and then take the tweeter wire out like that. And take these out. Okay, so now you can push down. Is there anything blocking over here? Okay, so now you can actually hit the door panel back into place. Just like that. All right, so put all the screws back in place. Start off with this one right here. So before I end this uh, tutorial, if you guys need this mirror for your vehicle, go to redmoto.com, your prepaid auto body parts source, and also the link is down below so you guys can purchase that mirror from us, prepainted, already color matched your vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and get Finish on this one. Put this one in. All right, so that's good. Then the screw for this one right here. All right, and put this one back into place. Okay. Uh. This one's a little bit toughy. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this one back into place. Just gotta push down on it. Yep, just push down on it. It should be good to go. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put that controls back into place also. All right, so just go ahead and plug it in. So remember, this one's kind of a tricky one. So let's see. It should go the right way like this. Yeah, so you have to, once you plug it in, it'll actually go back into place. And then you take that white part and you push down it. So now it's locked in, okay? Get the smaller one. The smaller one goes over here. And you just have to feel for that one. Make sure it clicks and then press down on it. Just like that. All right, so now we got the tweeters. Oh, I gotta put that one in place too. Okay, so I put that in wrong. All right, get this piece. So you saw what I did wrong, was I put the bottom in first. You actually slide the top in first and then push the bottom down. So now that one's secure. Put the tweeter back into place. Where's that tweeter? There it is. Right there. Plug it in. Let's see which way. Oh, wrong way. Alright. So all of this this thing just snaps into place. Snap it into place. And make sure it's secure. That's it. All right, guys. So that's how you install a 2014 Acura ILX side view mirror. If you guys have any questions about this mirror or how I installed it, go ahead and comment down below. We'll answer those questions for you. If you guys need any parts that you want us to install, let us know. And we're going to go ahead and try to get that vehicle so we can teach you guys how to install that part that you guys asked for. So thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, I do want to thank you again for watching our great videos. If you guys need any parts for your vehicle, the ones that you guys see in our videos, or anything else, go to redmoto.com, your prepainted auto body parts source. We sell bumpers, taillights, headlights, uh, touch-up bottles, everything that you need for your vehicle, go to redmoto.com, your prepainted and accessories parts store. Also, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your push notification for more great videos like this one. Thank you.